Hi, this is Adler from ExcelNinja.com. In this video, we'll be looking at two functions, floor and ceiling. Uh, the floor function and the ceiling function help you um, define a value depending up or down, depending on a certain criteria. Let's look at an example to explain it better. So you have four products, uh, each one of them has got a different list price, and then you apply a different discount, leaving you with a price to the customer. And just because you're such a nice person, you then say, okay, let's round it down for you. Let's, uh, for you, special price, and you want to give it a lower number. Let's have a look how you can decide what this number is going to be like. Uh, we use the floor function. So the, the syntax is floor and then you need to look at a number. In our case it will be this number here in cell D4 and at the moment it's 44.99. We want to have it as a multiple number of 5. So we go lower until we hit a price which is a multiple of the number 5 which we have selected here. In this particular case it turns out to be 40. 40 divisible by 5 so that's the number that we set as a floor. Uh, the next price 67.99 with the same principle Excel basically works out that the, law, the floor of this uh, price is 65 which is the the first number below 67.99 which is divisible again by 5. So when you want to select a floor you use this syntax here. So you just need to decide which value you're looking at and then the number by which you want the, the floor to be divisible by. What if we want to have a look at the ceiling function, so the opposite, going the opposite way, setting a top maximum uh, number. Let's look at a different example. Let's say for instance you have, you need to set a budget, budget of, for your production and you have the days of a week and you have what in your mind is the target production but you want to set it a, a bit higher just to make sure that you, you're more likely to hit it um, so to achieve it. So you set the budget production upwards and to make it nice and clear and easy you want to express this as a multiple of 100. Uh, so basically you use the number as a target production but express it as, a multi as the higher up multiple of 100 and you do this by using the ceiling function. The ceiling in a similar way to the floor um, function uses a value, in this case in B5 which is 385 and then what we are saying we want to express it as a value, as a higher up value which is divisible by 100. So the higher up value is 400, um, so 385 becomes 400, 279 becomes 300, 640 becomes 700. In this way we use setting a number of top level values based on the ceiling function. 